Okay, let's say you want to make your own DRC20 token. How do you do this? First things first, head on over to drc20.org. From here, I head up to the Explorer tab. And on the Explorer tab, you're going to be able to search through all of the currently listed and indexed tokens on DRC20. You're going to need to find a ticker that hasn't already been taken if you want to deploy your own token. One way of doing this is just to type in some letters here and see if they pop up. I'm going to go with SASS because I can see it doesn't already exist. So I've decided I want to release a token called SASS. So what do I do? I'm going to head on over to the inscribe tab at the top. And from here on the DRC20 tab, I'm going to go and check mark the deploy. Deploying is creating a new token. Here, I'm going to pick my tick. The thing we just discovered was not taken, SASS. I'm going to choose my supply. And for this, let's do a million tokens. And then I'm going to pick the limit per mint. Now, the limit per mint is important because this is how many of these tokens per inscription someone's going to be able to mint for themselves. I'm going to set this at 100. Now, last thing, we need to pick a wallet address. I'm just going to go ahead and pick my wallet right up here. Going to input that there, click confirm, and you're going to see the order page. Going to check this box that you confirm the accuracy of the data. You're going to check the box that you've read and accept the terms of conditions. It's very important. Go ahead and click on that if you haven't read and understand them. Okay. And then click confirm. And then from here, I'm going to choose how fast I need to get this transaction through. I'm perfectly okay with economy for this demonstration. And you're going to see your total down here. I'm going to click confirm for a whopping 70 cents. I'm going to get to deploy this token. I'm very excited. Go ahead, copy this address, go into your wallet, send to that address, 10 doge, and boom, sign and send. Perfect. Payment has been sent. You can click on view on block explorer to track the transaction. You're going to need to wait for the status on this transaction page to switch from new transaction to confirm. Once that's done, you're going to need to wait for our indexer on Doge Labs to go ahead, mint the token, well, sorry, deploy the token, and then for it to show up on the Explorer. That's very, very likely to take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, and that's because Dogecoin consistently has reorgs, and if we don't give that much buffer time, we might Otherwise, send you a confirmation for something that gets undone by the blockchain due to the way that Dogecoin is constructed. So I'm going to sit here on this dogechain.info page until the status has changed to confirm. And then I'm going to make sure I wait maybe another 10 to 15 minutes after that. As you can see, status has changed to confirm. And now I'm going to head back over to our Explorer tab and go find our new token. And there it is, ready and waiting to be minted.